she was talking about Anne Marie. I don't know if she, I mean, I think maybe I asked her and I said, how's the new girl doing? So it was clear to me when we were talking, she was talking about Anne Marie and she said, I don't know. I can't say anything, but when you're right, you're right. And I know I'm right. So I guess it was about this whole anesthesiologist and lying thing, but there you go. Didn't see anything there. Shocker. Kyle knows how to cover stuff up. Okay. Let's move on. Um, in the real world, you know, Dorit has said, I think last week Dorit said, you know, she does feel a distance um, with Kyle since she started traveling with, Mar you know, since Kyle is with Morgan, you know, we used to do everything together. Kyle has come out and said, not so fast. This isn't our official breakup. Even though Dorit seems to say we're breaking up. Kyle's like, we never took trips together. There's like one time me and you and PK and Mo took a trip. So stop exaggerating. It wasn't like that. But there seems to be this breakup with Kyle. You know how when our my good friend Catherine Edwards used to come on this podcast? I talk to Catherine all the time. All right, I'm going to ask Catherine to come back again. She says she wants to do it. I asked her at the beginning of the season and she said, I would love to. I'm just traveling here and there and there. And then the schedule was so intense. I have a hard time asking my friends for things, guys. Like my friendship with Catherine has nothing to do with her coming on this podcast. It's like a real friendship. So I don't want to, you know, push that. Um, but I'll ask her again, maybe for the finale. I don't know. But as Catherine always says, none of these people are really friends. She's right. So that Sutton just did an interview or spoke out somewhere and said, you know, I know Kyle says we're on a break, but let me just be clear. Kyle never told me we were going on a break. So I did notice she stopped calling. I did notice she stopped texting. So she never told me we were going on a break, but apparently we're on a break. So there you go. So Kyle is apparently on a break with everybody. I think it's over really for, look, I think Kyle likes Dorit. I think she likes Sutton. But I think at the end of the day, Kyle has like, from where I'm sitting, three really close friends that she, I'm sure she has more, but the people that we know of, right? We never knew of Lorene, her real friend, but the people we know of that are real friends that she loves to hang out with these days. One, the morally corrupt Faye Resnick, right? Two, you call her the Nat, I call her the Tedster, Miss Mellencamp. And three, Morgan Wade. I don't think Kyle wants to hang out with anyone. So do I think Kyle would love to work next season with Dorit and Sutton? Do I think she will be working with Dorit and Sutton? Yeah, although eventually, I mean, Dorit's another one. Girl, you've got something good going here because uh, Dorit's a great housewife. She is. I just think, I mean, is there more, I guess this is my new saying, is there more gas in that tank? Rachel Levis, she's gone rogue. Episode two, Rachel Levis, Rachel goes rogue, guys. I mean, now you guys know I have nothing against Rachel Levis, but how can this, we can't have a podcast that is just talking about Scandival. Let me tell you something. I've been doing this for five years. I'm in my fifth year. And let me tell you something about each and every one of you listening to Behind the Velvet Rope Patreon right now. You guys love and hate so hard, but let me tell you something. You all move on quickly. So if you think Daddy David here is just like, let me wake up and just like talk to the wall because my audience like bows down to me, that is the exact opposite. You all don't play fucking games, okay? I appreciate the love, but you all want to keep up. You want it all covered and like, you're over this and then you're over that. And you guys, there's so much going on in the Bravo verse. You guys move on so quickly, fast, 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 which is why you're such a great fit for me. I'm a Gemini darlings. We get over it. So my point is if Miss Levis, Rachel Levis, formerly Raquel, 
formerly castmate of Vanderpump Rules, if she is talking about the scandal and all the little details, episode 19, I don't know what the plan is here. What is the plan? Okay. Like, do I have 2024 planned out behind the velvet rope of how I see this year going? I do. I got a plan, girls and guys. Even the two straight guys in the back. I got a plan. So look, we keep our eyes open. We adapt to the plan. We listen to, we take the feel, the temperature of the room. We lurk at the numbers. Numbers don't lie. And that helps us craft the plan. The numbers from 2023 have helped me craft the plan for 2024. But I know the plan is not to be 19 episodes in and talking about whether Tom, you know, listen, does Tom have a big dick? I mean, that's what people want to know, girl. So maybe if you're going to do episode 19 of the real size of Tom's dick, people might want to know, like, what did Tom do in the bedroom that was so good? What did he do that was bad? I think, I mean, oh, 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 all of a sudden you people are rolling your eyes in the back row over there. Like you're above that. Like you all are like, that's too low, David. Give me a fucking break. You want to know every fucking detail of that. I don't think we need to know in episode two that, um, you know, Tom Schwartz knew about Sandoval, about Scandoval. Wow, such a shocker. I mean, didn't we all kind of feel that within the first minute that it happened? That's how Schwartz, he stuck his fucking foot in his mouth and watch what happens. He knew, he knew, he knew. This is why Schwartz, he was on Stars from Mars. He got a side gig out of it, right? Um, Yeah. So yeah, it's kind of interesting, I guess, that she says that Tom Sandoval called her the next day after they hooked up for the first time. And he was at Schwartz's because that was his safe place. Okay, look, we're picturing him at Schwartz's and making the phone call and just ignoring Schwartz while Schwartz was like, duh, let me clean up my room. My room, I mean, apartment is really messy. Let me put this stuff away. Man, yeah, this is tough. Yeah, man, you got yourself into a real one here. Schwartz, just stay in your lane and let me call her. But man, what about Ariana? I can't help it, Schwartz. I feel, I feel, I'm all about feeling. I'm going to go perform a song and I feel. But man, this isn't right. All right, well, let me call her, okay? I mean, okay, so Schwartz knew. I guess she's adding a little context. It was at his house, the call, but this isn't like, I mean, tell us something real that we need to know. Oh my God, it's Rachel Yucatel. Should we like see what she has to... Recording a Patreon episode. So you are now on the episode because I picked you off. So shouldn't I call you back after this?